the one part that worries me is that offensive line. Um, we seem to have three guys that are super solid guys that are star level guys in, in Donaldson, Scaife, and Corey Gaynor, mm -hmm. uh, who is one of the guys that's banged up. But hopefully it's, it seems to be nothing serious. Right. So those three guys, which should be the center, left guard, left tackle. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, I believe Scaife is going to end up is, as the left tackle. Yeah, he, he's made a big jump. He has. He has. And, and, and the kid, even though he came out as a guard, you know, he does have long arms. He is 6'4", so it's not like he's not built for a tackle. Mm -hmm. Donaldson was built for tackle, but obviously he doesn't have the feet for it. Yeah. So he's a, he's a monster guard. Yeah. So let's, you know, let's – instead of worrying about the fact that he wasn't the tackle that we had hoped for, let's just take advantage of the fact that he is a huge, monstrous guard a that's player. a load on the second level, that's you know. Big, yeah. Absolutely. And Corey Gaynor looks like he's going to pick up right where Tyler Gauthier, uh, you know, left off mm -hmm. in terms of being the, the, the leader of that offensive line. He has some experience because uh, he played uh, quite a bit. He redshirted last year but he played quite a bit in 2017. So those three are going to be somewhere on that line, and we can feel confident in them. The problem is, who's the other two? Right. Uh, so far, it seems that uh, Hillary, Zelante Hillary, mm -hmm. is going to be the right guard if everyone's healthy. And then the right tackle, I'm leaning towards John Campbell. I think it'll be John Campbell if, uh, if he, when, once he gets healthy. Yeah. And I think that's our best line. Yeah, you know, but the disappointment of Tommy Kennedy, right. you know, because a lot of people believe, oh, this guy, he he was going to be a plug and play left tackle. He's on his way to the NFL, and you know, his he has to just increase his strength. But he has beautiful footwork, and man, like you said, he's been getting manhandled. He's been, yeah, absolutely. And, my my thing, he, my thing with the offensive line, I just want consistency. Yeah, I, I want I want guys that okay, we know. You know, like you said, Scaife is going to be our left tackle. Donald's is going to be a guard. You know, Gain is going to be our center. Now, obviously, we have we have some question marks, but once we do find that guy, what I don't like is the the rotation and the the, ro the rotating players on on plugging in for one game and plugging and then trying to find. I want to have that solved before August twenty fourth. Uh, because, absolutely. Because ha having that having that group together and you know and working together and you know having that camaraderie on the offensive line that is just that, that that's big. That's big and that's going to help our running game, it's going to help our quarterbacks. I mean, the game games are won in the trenches. On the on the defensive side of the ball, I think we're fine. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think I think we're more than fine. <laughs> so on on the offensive side of the ball, we have to get back to those days of having, you know, those those dominant offensive lines, you know, that the Canes have had in the past. And that's, that's one of those things that we've been, we've been missing for a very long time. I, I do think we got a huge upgrade in Butch Berry as our offensive line coach over Stacey Searles. Well, he, he because, brings that, that NFL, you know, experience, that technique. Correct. And, yeah. Correct. And, and frankly, under Stacey Searles, I, I saw very little development of some really highly rated guys. Because people you, forget. You, you saw little development? Because I didn't see any. <laughs> exactly. I didn't see any development. Well, and, and you got guys like Kaylion Herbert, uh, Zelante Hillary, who, who, by the way, I do think is better suited to guard than he was at tackle. Right. Um, he, he really physically is not the tackle. He doesn't have that the, the long arms and, and those type of things. This is why they kicked him inside. Mm -hmm. But these guys were highly, I mean, Kayleon Herbert was highly regarded. Right. And he's been in the program two years. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, he's not ready to take over yeah. at one of the tackle positions. Yeah. You know, John Campbell's only been in the program one year. Mm -hmm. And he was part of that 2018 class. Mm -hmm. uh, I really was hoping to see more development from uh, Cleveland Reed uh, because I, you look at his film and he played with an edge. Yeah, he did. You know, and, and I, but he's he's now a second team at guard, so we'll see. I mean, it seems so far that the best five has been Scaife at left at left tackle, Donaldson at left guard, Gainer at center, and they said that those three have a great combination going in terms of really having a rapport and what you talked about that camaraderie and communication that offensive lines need to have. And then in the right guard on the right side is where we had problems. Right. Uh, they moved Scaife over there 
uh, at the guard uh, temporarily because of some injuries. Um, George, George Brown, I think, has been a little banged up when, at, at the tackle. Campbell has been banged up. But if everybody's healthy, I like that starting five of Scaife, Donaldson, Gaynor, Hillary, and John Campbell, yeah. which I think is what Butch Berry likes. Mm-hmm. I also like the fact that Butch Berry, his idea of offensive linemen is brilliant. I think that's the best way to do it. It's the way Wisconsin does it also, is he likes athletic guys who haven't filled out yet. Mm-hmm. You know, the 6'5", 240 guy like Zion Nelson is one of those guys. He's up to 270, I think, since he reported. Mm-hmm. But he's one of those guys that was very athletic, and he's really he's been our backup tackle, and he's gotten a lot of first team reps at left tackle. Mm-hmm. So those type of guys, I agree with that. I like that 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 concept mm-hmm. of it's a lot easier building a lineman up with good weight than trying to get rid of bad weight. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it is is a different type of concept. Right. So I do like our offensive line coach, uh, but you're right. What if that's our starting five? You know, is Nelson gonna be the backup left tackle? You know, if something happens to Gaynor, are we going to kick Donaldson to center the way we've been doing? Because Tommy Kennedy was the backup center. Gaynor gets hurt. They don't put Kennedy with the first team. They move Donaldson, who has never played center, right. move him to be the starting center. Right. You know. Yeah, well, the depth is not is not where it needs to be. No, no. And, and we don't – I mean, we don't have – you know, I think Reed – can can be that backup guard. Um, Nelson could be that backup tackle. But is it going to be one of those things that every time somebody's nicked up, we're going to have to play, you know, jigsaw puzzle of of moving guys around, and then you lose the camaraderie, you lose the chemistry right. of guys working together. Right. Well, I mean, you know, I think um, the development wasn't there for these guys. Obviously, they weren't developing, you know, with the with the pre, uh, previous coaching staff. So, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see these players that, that we saw the potential. I mean, we'll see, obviously, you know, how they progress. And I, I have full faith in, in, the, in the coaching staff that, that's in place for that to happen. So, I mean, we'll see. 